Welcome to Wild Bastards, our follow-up to Void Bastards. The Wild Bastards were the meanest, weirdest gang in the galaxy, until Jebediah Chase killed them all, or almost all. Now with the help of the Drifter, a sentient spaceship, they're on a mission to dig up the remains of their gang and bring the Wild Bastards back from the dead. Just like Void Bastards, Wild Bastards is a strategy shooter with multiple layers of gameplay. At the top level, you jump the drifter through space searching for your dead compatriots. In order to find them though, you'll have to pass by planets, all of which are controlled by Chaste and his minions. Each of these planets has a jump lock, which needs to be disabled before you can jump away from it. To disable the jump lock, you'll have to beam down. Now this is where the real fun starts. Before we beam down, let's make sure to inspect the planet to see what enemies we'll have to deal with. This will help us choose who from our gang to take down to the planet. On this planet, we can see that there are gun hands, blasters, yellow bellies and morticians. Morticians are going to require some real strategy to deal with. They summon explosive spirits from the afterlife, so I should be prepared to take on a lot of those weak but very damaging enemies. I'll need a high rate of fire outlaw, so not someone like Sarge with their high damage long range rifle, maybe more like Preach with her Gatling, or even Smokey with his flamethrower. Smokey is currently feuding though with some of the gang, so let's leave him to cool off. Yellow bellies are also tricky with their force field shields. Kaboom's dynamite works well since I can throw them over. However, the even better choice would be Rawhide whose sonic rifle goes straight through them. Lastly, Billy is a great all-rounder, so let's go with Preach, Rawhide, and Billy. We are here. Locked and loaded. With Rawhide scattered, I'm just going to have two outlaws to start. Here we are on the planet, and we can see that Rawhide isn't that far off, but we also need to think about the loot that we can gather while we're down here and what other opportunities or threats we might face. Over here are some aces, which will buff one of our outlaws, so we'd really like to get those. And here's some cram, which we can use to go shopping for anything we might need. Now there's also a mod which we can assign to any of our outlaws, and this will provide something like ammo, armor, or a special utility item. It's all stuff that we want, but we need to keep an eye on the clock because McNeil, Chaste's youngest son is on our tail, and we'll be here in just a few turns. We want to be off the planet or near to being off by the time he gets here. That requires getting to this stairway where we can beam back up to the drifter. Let's get started by recovering a rawhide though, so that's going to mean breaking through this roadblock here. But before we do that, I'm going to stop off at this location to drop off some invulnerability pickups at the roadblock. It's going to be a tough fight, but we can make it a little bit easier for ourselves. This encounter has gun hands, blasters, and morticians. The key to combat in Wild Bastards is actually the ability to swap between your outlaws during the showdown. You can see I have started as Billy, but when I need to, I can swap to Preach to utilize their weapon and stunt. This pickup is one of the invulnerability pickups I deployed from the planet map. This juice pickup I can use for my outlaw's unique stunts that can get me out of some pretty tricky situations. Dealing with these spirits, I have to be aware of my surroundings, since the biggest risk is being overwhelmed if I lose track of where they are. If I keep an ear out though, I can also hear the enemies taunting me. This is going to help me pin down their positions, which is essential. You can also see on the compass on the top of my screen where exactly they're coming from. I can use the barrel here to my advantage. Now's a good time to use that invulnerability pickup. Invulnerability is really helping me clear out the stronghold. Getting in and flushing them out since they were all hunkered down behind cover when I approached. Just two more enemies to deal with. I need to hurt you. 
by the sounds of it a gun hand and a mortician i can use billy's stunt now to quickly unload my rounds might as well grab another invulnerability just in case and we have victory all right that wasn't too bad and now we can grab the cram but that's not the end of our movement for this turn we need to watch out for the patrol marching around up there but we're still a good way away from them for now our turn again and it's night time which will make showdowns a bit more intense let's recover raw hide now that we've got three outlaws we can change our strategy up a bit let's pair rawhide with preach and we'll send billy off on his own to grab those aces up the top billy needs to retrace his steps but you'll see we've got a handy teleporter here which is going to save us some time before we let billy fight though let's take care of this roadblock down here with preach and rawhide conveniently there's some health here though which i'll grab for preach as a night showdown Things are going to be a little bit different. I will have somewhat of a stealth advantage as the enemies are going to struggle to see me at a distance. Rawhide's sonic rifle will help with the yellow bellies. They also bought three coyotes. This is one of his aces, so a permanent buff that I chose. That's a yellow belly, so time to switch it up. Since it is night, spotting enemies will be harder. Luckily, my helpful coyotes are going to help go after these enemies. That is, if I don't shoot them too. Only two enemies left. One in the tower, but since it is night, they don't have a good shot on me. Another yellow belly, so Rawhide's turn. Great, so here's some juice. I can use this with Rawhide's stunt to get some more backup. Anything to distract or create an opening since the enemy in the watchtower is going to be a bit risky to go after. A group of coyotes should keep their attention though. Time to go up and hopefully catch them by surprise. Hey, man. Okay, so that went really well because we bought the right outlaws for the job. We also picked up some infamy, which will give us a nice bonus when we start the next sector. Let's end turn again. It's good we waited before taking on that roadblock with Billy though. Now we can use this orbital bombardment to destroy this roadblock. We still have a patrol in the way though, so with that cram we picked up before, we can head back to the shop and pick up a disguise. Donning this disguise lets Billy slip right past that patrol and head for those aces. A nice safe way to get what we need. In the meantime though, Let's grab that mod. Outlawed rounds. So these are a seriously good mod. I like the idea of burst on Preacher's Gatling gun. So let's give her the rounds. We don't want to drag our feet though, because McNeil has just landed. So it's time to get off this planet while our outlaws are still breathing. No one got injured, but all three of our outlaws are tired. That means I'm going to try and rest them for the next planet. A great haul of loot though. Let's unpack these aces now. So, Billy's leveled up and I can choose between more damage, more ammo, or a cloud of ink. That's an interesting one. It makes him temporarily invulnerable each time he takes damage. 
Because Billy rescued Rawhide after they'd been scattered, they're now pals, which means they'll help each other in the next showdown. Now we're back in the Drifter, we can move on from Watley's Repose. We have a few options for our next jump. This harsh planet is going to be very tiring. We have an elite planet here, which would be a real challenge, although very rewarding. Scripture 3 has aces, which would be nice. Far Libra is where our compatriot Hopalong is jailed though, and I really want to get Hopalong back, so that's definitely going to be my next stop. But we'll leave rescuing Hopalong for another time. There's a lot more to this game to show, so please follow us on social media or join our Discord to find out more. Thanks so much for watching.